once had a child listen to music when I worked in the private setting. I had a child listen to music as he read the computer and he could read it so easily. But the minute I took the music away, he struggled with reading from the computer. And it's the same as if he's reading from a book. And then I had this child connect. This was a fourth grader. I had him connect two columns of words with a, with a highlighter, with a marker on a whiteboard. And he struggled finding the words that were associated. And he struggled with a jaggedy line when he finally found two words that would go together, like cat and um, dog, you know, what were two animals or whatever. So um, when I put music in the left ear, he could find the associated words, house with a door, um, mailbox with letter. I mean, he could connect them so easily. And that's what got my attention that music played in the left ear has a profound impact on the brain. So we've done four steps. There's nine steps to my program. We did the phonogram cards. We did the sound circles. We did the um, letters and then we did the reading. Now we're going to take out a workbook. So my second graders through um, fourth grade have workbook four. And this just starts with helping the child with rhymes, filling in the blanks. So for example, it says, what rhymes with Matt? Two words that rhyme with, what, okay, start with two words that rhyme with man, pan, can. And we, I've already taught that, or you could teach it now that the rhyme means the ending sound. So the ending sound is the same. So m mm, an man goes to pan p an pan goes to can k an can rhyming words have that ending sound the same so they're going to fill out the workbook and i work with the workbook for 10 minutes